the Beach Postcards from Krabby Spit by Roland Harvey. I'm going to read the blurb on the back cover. It says, Hi everyone, Krabby Spit is cool. I've been crab spotting, riding my bike, surfing and swimming, and looking at stars. With a bit of luck, I'll be having fish and chips for dinner. The only problem is my things keep disappearing. Can you help me find them? Roland Harvey. So there's a bit of a mystery in this book too. As I read through this story, look closely at the pictures. There are plenty of funny and exciting things happening that are not related to the storyline. Here is a map of Krabby Spit. You might like to pause the video and have a close look at lots of the places here. These are the places that will be mentioned in the story. At the beach. Postcards from Krabby Spit. Here's a picture of Roland Harvey on his bike. He's packed all of the things in the thought bubble there. And it says, At last, I'm off to Krabby Spit. Now, have I got everything? I'm not going to lose anything this year. And this little creature down the bottom says, ha. Huh. Goodbye, my darlings. Don't forget to write. You can see Grandma is saying goodbye to the family. And in the family, we have Frankie and Raja hiding behind the gate. And then there's Mum and Dad, Henry and Penny. Goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye. Dear Grandma, we are nearly at Krabby Spit. On the way, we had to stop three times and Frankie was sick four times. We saw a policeman and he told Dad to speed up because he was holding up the traffic. We saw a monster in a lake and I saw 12 baby ducks and two giant crabs. Raja found a towel beside the road. I can't wait to get to Krabby Spit. I drew us for you. Love from Henry. Dear Grandma, Krabby Spit is cool. We have the best camping spot right near the toilets and the beach and the river. Mum has agreed to stop embarrassing us and only wear her new hat in the tent if we do all the cooking for the whole holiday. One family has brought their mower and we are getting fish and chips for tea and then going looking for crabs. There is a bike track and a river and horse riding and mosquitoes. Love from Henry. Dear Grandma, wow, it's all happening at Krabby. Dad says the lifesavers are wanting him to join the club and Mr McIntosh was chased by a shark. It must have been scared off by the taste of his shorts. And I saw a bird drop a poop on a kid's hand. I'm going to join the lifesavers and row the surf boat and drive the rubber duckies. I'll tell you what, Grandma, surfing is ace. I'm going to get really good and be the world champ. There was a hang glider and I want to be a world champ of that too. That's after I get to be the world champion at Frisbee. I drew this picture of a hang glider for you. Love, Penny. Dear Grandma, we are having a good time here at Krabby Spit. At the sand sculpture competition today, Mrs Thomas made Mr Thomas into a mermaid and won. The kids helped Dad build a sandcastle and Uncle Kevin is going to have another go at the surfboard. One kid thinks he is a seagull and a little dog did a wee on a lady's foot. Some people have been catching fish and they showed us how to clean them. I have become a vegetarian. I don't know how the seagull kid does it. He only stays up for about 20 seconds, so I think he's cheating. Love, Penny. Hey, Grandma. I couldn't find a pen, so I had to use a stick dipped in paint. It is really pouring today, so we went to Treasure Trove and bought some cool stuff. I wanted some 20 metre white pointed jaws, but got a snake instead. Mum bought Dad an ironing board because he thinks he's Iron Man. See ya, Henry. Dear Grandma, I bet you would love Krabby Spit. It is so windy today that I saw some underpants fly across the camping ground. The last I saw, they were on the back of a lady's head. 
we played Scrabble in the annex and had hot chocolate and marshmallow floaters. Afterwards, we helped clean up the beach. Mr Thomas's stuff floated away yesterday and today the wind is blowing it all back again. Daddy's going to buy a heap of fish and chips and invite everyone to a party. I hope Frankie's mice and my axolotl are okay and not too much trouble. Love from Penny. Dear Grandma, Mum is helping me write this postcard because she is very sunburnt and has to stay in the shade. Uncle Pete and Auntie Sam came to visit and we beat them in beach cricket. Penny bowled Uncle Pete for a duck and I saw a snake and I missed a catch because I was busy surfing. Mum is teaching me to swim and I can put my face in the water right up to my chin. Daddy's cooking his big fish tonight. Bye, Frankie. Dear Grandma, We have been floating down the river and doing bombs off Sentinel Rock in the estuary. When we were snorkelling in the rock pool, we saw seven starfish and a leafy sea dragon, and I drew you one. You almost can't tell they're not seaweed. I think Dad has sunstroke because he dressed in seaweed and danced in front of everyone. It was so embarrassing. A kid called James has sore feet, and our friend made him sandals out of kelp. Bye for now, Penny. Dear Grandma, we thought of you last night. We were watching the moon and saw shooting stars and five satellites and the Southern Cross, the saucepan and a glow-in-the-dark crab. There were dolphins out in the waves too. Henry says he saw weird lights in the sky and a UFO and a robber, but you know what his imagination is like. We met a family from a country with lots of sand and no water. They had to save for two years just to come for a holiday at the beach. See ya, Penny. Dear Grandma, today was the best day. We went diving again in the deep water and found sunken treasure and shipwrecks and a stingray and an octopus and a giant clam. I drew you a map so you can find the treasure if you come down to Crabby Spit. You will have to be careful because I think there will be things guarding it and traps. Good luck. Love, Henry. Dear Grandma, how are your holidays going? Today, Mum took us sailing and Dad was worried, so Frankie and I worked the sails. We went out to an island and saw a really dark cave which I think would have been used by pirates. Yee hee hee and a nice cup of tea. We picked up a whole lot of rubbish in the water and we also found out seagulls like eating sick. It probably has more flavour than plastic or chips. We saw four dolphins and one looked right at me. One looked a bit like Auntie Joy. Love from Henry. Dear Grandma, We had a real adventure today. We hired bikes and rode all around Crabby Spit. Frankie said he saw a crocodile and I saw pelicans and swamp hens and Hannah Coleman. They were catching fish and eating them whole. Yuck! And after lunch we went horse riding and now Dad won't sit down. He said his horse needs new springs. He was being the man from Snowy River and nearly fell into the water. This is my invention. Do you think I'll get rich? Penny. Hey, Grandma. We have been on a ferry today to Skull Island. It is huge when you get close to it and it smells like Henry's room because of all the bird poo. I don't think humans have ever been onto it. The sides are so steep and there's just a little jetty. On the pier, we saw a man catch a squid. He was teasing it and it suddenly squirted a whole lot of black ink into his face. Serves him right. The man gave the squid to Dad and I have a weird feeling Dad thinks we're going to eat it. I'm having calamari from the shop instead. I think I saw a giant octopus under the pier, camouflaged as seaweed. Hope you're having fun too. My hair looks like this. Love, Penny. Dear Grandma, It is so not good. 
It's our last crabby spit night. We had a humongous bonfire on the beach and people got dressed up and sang and drummed and danced. We were hot. Love, Penny. Dear Grandma, I have never seen such a big fire and we toasted marshmallows. I think even some of the grown-ups had a good time. It was so cool with the sea sloshing and the music jumping. I made up a dance and my head stayed still and my body danced around. My dad was being funny and he's done his back. Love from Henry. Dear Grandma, I stayed up late and there was a very big fire. I found a crab and there were dolphins swimming in the sea. Love, Frankie. You can see that the family have arrived home safely and there's Grandma. But here in front of us is Roland Harvey again and he says, Well, I seem to have lost all my stuff again. We'll have to go back and look for it. So if you have a copy of this book, you can look all through the pages for all the things that he lost from the front page.